Here we're given a system of equations. We're going to use a Castiel calculator to try to solve this system using the matrix function that it has. So first we got to put this in as a matrix. So I'm going to hit the matrix button. So I'm going to exit. Here's where you, here's where you should be at the main screen. If you hit uh, this MAT button here, F3, it'll bring you to this. I'm going to delete this off there like, it's, like it never was there. So now you've got something here that says none. And I'm just going to hit enter. Let me record so you can see what I'm typing. And it asks about the dimensions. Well, this is three rows, and it has four columns, right? So it's a three by four. And I had to hit enter twice there for some reason. Now I put my... Uh, I just put these numbers in, 2, 7, 1, 7, so 2, 7, 1, 7, oh, shoot, I was trying to use my computer, it won't let me, so I got to type them in with the emulator here, sorry about that, and then negative 6, and a negative three, a four, a three, and another three, a negative one, a negative three, and another negative three. Okay, so there's our matrix. Now it's saved in there as matrix A. So that's where we saved it. It was matrix A. You can see up here in the top corner what matrix you saved it under, matrix A. So you quit to the main screen. What we're looking for up here is RREF matrix A. That's what we want to type in. So to do that, you hit the option button and hit this little MAT button here, F2. And you go over, right, F6, go over until you find RREF, which is right here. We pick him. Now it needs to say MAT A, matrix A. So if you keep on going over, you'll find at the very beginning there's an MAT right here. That's what we want. So I'll hit MAT and then simply put alpha A and there's your RREF matrix A. Hit enter and now it'll tell you what the answer is, uh, what the answer to the system is. X, since there's a one right here in the very first column, you see how the X's are in the first column. So X equals negative 58. Y is in the second column and there's a one right here in the second column. So Y equals 27. There's a Z over here in the last column, and so there's a 1 right here in the last column. <coughs> Excuse me. So Z is equal to negative 66. So you say X equals negative 58, Y equals 27, Z equals negative 66.